tutorial is and in this video you are learning bootstrap and in this series of video uh, you will learn how to apply image classes in bootstrap as you know image is one of the important components of, of any web page or website so uh, knowing about image classes is important let's do one thing first download any image this is too big just save it bootstrap name it as let's first create folder images inside that i will put this flower dot check now let's get back here and we will create a new file image dot html and i will put here one image let's do this Direct the JavaScript also. So right here, img src src equals to images slash floor dot jpg. This is so. This is without any class, right? Now let's go to this folder and open here image dot html. now if you check this into the mobile device then let's see how does it look like you can see the image is cutting here right so that means what this is not responsive now let's get back to the bootstrap website and see what are the classes for images okay if you go here bootstrap then you can see there is one class called img flow for making the image responsive right so i right here sorry class i had to write here. class image root now refresh this and if you check this into the mobile device then see how does it look you can see this is responsive image now so as you can see if you want to make your website responsive and also if you want to make the image responsive so it's very easy in bootstrap you don't have to write the long code you simply include this img fluid class apart from that it also provide uh, other classes like uh, for displaying thumbnail here img class thumbnail so what will happen if you apply this class the thumbnail actually there will be outside of the image border here it is not visible because this is white that's why if i put here background color other color body background color say gray then if you check then you can see there is outside thumbnail class applied so this way if you want to apply uh, the class thumbnail then you can do like this also you can align the image rounded corner if you want to provide each as rounded then slight rounding corner it will give you here simply in the image just put here rounded as well so 
so I will just remove this actually thumbnail here you can see a bit rounded is there right you can see a bit rounded is there so that's it in the part of that if you want to align for alignment float start that means beginning float end that means in the end so if we apply here float end in our case here actually if the image were small then it would apply but normally if there is state in float end that means it will go from start and end float to start that means from start if you have uh, small image then it will work that way because it's already container so if you want to check that then here uh, style width 20 percent okay now for that we need some text here So we have written here, I have written here float and uh, if I put this image somewhere in between, refresh it, so it's coming like this. But this is of not so much important. The main thing is image responsive because we can simply write here float left, then it will go float left. We can control through other CSS also, which is not uh, much a problem. You can see it is more controllable as compared to the bootstrap default class. So the main thing is responsive class. So IMG flow. That's it. So guys, that's it in this video. You know that how you can apply uh, responsive class. And that is IMG fluid. And uh, second one is uh, how you can apply rounded and also thumbnail. That's it in this video. So. We will continue this video so stay connected and see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye